Now, this next one is more specific, and it's about a, a particular type of bug, and it's, 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 it's a water bug. And the story behind this, and this, is, this relates to, to your story, Nick. That's why I thought it was so interesting. I have a brother who got uh, thrown accidentally into the hospital instead of jail. And he um, likes to take drugs. Now, I'm not saying that your brother or you or any of that is related, but we were talking of things earlier. And this song kind of has a story that goes along those lines. So if you, if you, start, okay. if you start, I'll, I'll, I'll talk underneath it so they can feel as though something will happen uh, musically. So um, it was about, it's been about three or four years, but we were asked to uh, do a song for a compilation on uh, a CMJ or something like that. And of course, we always say yes to those things. We never get around to doing them until the last minute. So it, it, I, I had arrived at the day when we were supposed to record this track, and I needed to finish it that day and send it off Federal Express and, and get there on time. So I go back to my little area in my house where I have my four track and everything set up, and I start putting together this song that I had some ideas for. And I don't get very far with it before I get a call from my brother's wife and she is a little bit frantic and she uh, can't find uh, she or someone has called her uh, uh, from the hospital and said that my brother is down at the hospital she doesn't know what's wrong she suspects that he, maybe he's taken some drugs or he's had a heart attack or something but he has the car and so she asks me to go down there and see what's wrong and uh, so I go down there and um, discover that he's passed out and um, he was at the grocery store and he had done a bunch of, um, what, what, what's the, what's the, the drug? Um, uh, Xanax, yeah, sort of a, a downer, a downer. Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xanax, is, is, that, is that what it seems that's like? That's what he would do, yeah. Yeah, that's what he, he, he'd like those for a while. And he had gone to the grocery store and bought a bunch of stuff and as he was taking it to his car ended up passing out in his car but i think he actually got in someone else's car by mistake and the cops sort of came didn't know what to do with him and took him down to the hospital and this is kind of the story that i'm sort of exaggerating a little bit but making it into a little bit more drama now the part that isn't true and i'll admit this is the part where he is able to he has these superpowers in the song, and he's able to call up these water bugs to kill or attack any of these sort of uh, authoritative figures who are trying to oppress him in the song. And it, it sort of relates to like, uh, remember the Willard guy who could who the, had the rats, and whenever anybody tried to hassle him, he'd call up the rats, and the rats would all come and, and chew these guys up. Well, my brother in the song, you know, in his drug addled state is able to call up those water bugs and they do the same things to, to all the people in the song. All right, so it goes something like this. My brother's at the store, a genius when he's born. He contemplates his consciousness. He feels his hands, they sweat. He can't connect it yet And he pulls all his resources And he calls up The insects he commands And the water bugs Attack the policemen All right, so that clicking sound you hear, that's Michael once again leading the chorus of insect sounds. Now, the other day we did this song and it, we, it occurred to us that water bugs don't actually make any noise. That's why you never know where they're at. So when you, 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 when you discover them over there by, the, by their air conditioner or something, they're just silent, they just sit there. But Michael is kind of making a very, what would really be a microscopic sound and he's magnified it by a thousand fold, okay? Okay. My brother's at 
the morgue He gets up off the floor He contemplates his escape But a guard waits at the door He feels his power soar And he pulls all his resources Attack the policeman So if I can remember the story correctly, I believe that he finally just woke up at the hospital and I think he ended up just walking home and when he when i asked him about actually what happened later he really had didn't remember at all and he's actually heard this song since and has no idea that it's really about him okay i'm, I'm working up to your you usually don't leave me hanging like that. oh i did i i, I left you hanging <laughs> <laughs> he tries to make it home he stops to use the phone and he can't remember where the house is But a cop waits at his car So he needs his friends once more And he pulls all his resources And he calls up the insects he commands Attack the policeman Yeah, the water bugs Attack the policeman Oh, there you go. Nice ending. <laughs> Could have done with a couple of those water bugs last night. <laughs>